Okay, Jordan Peele, Chris Evans, Katie Holmes, mm -hmm. and Ryan Gosling all have new movies out this weekend. So let's get right to Real Talk to figure out what the heck we're going to watch. <laughs> Movie reviewer Greg Russell back with us again. Good morning. Good morning. Always a pleasure. Good to see you. Uh, let's start with Jordan Peele's new movie, Nope, uh, which looks like a suspenseful twist to sci-fi. From what little I've seen in the trailers, it, is it like a Close Encounters kind of thing? Somewhat. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya and uh, Kiki Palmer play brother and sister. They have a horse ranch out like in the desert in California. Next thing you know, they start noticing these weird clouds and animals start missing. So somehow or another, they figure out, uh-oh, we've got an alien problem. I know we've got a clip, so we can check that out. <laughs> I need you to tell me. What did you see in that cloud? Well, it's not what you think. No! They took him. They took him all. I gotta get out this house. I'm trying to save you. My brother is out there. I don't think they take you. If you don't look at it. Look, don't look, don't look. Okay, so I am uh, I'm getting sort of signs, mm -hmm. vibes, M. Night Shyamalan kind of <laughs> like, or the happening, yeah. you know, with the wind or whatever. Um, I have a bad feeling that like there's a lot of portent mm -hmm. uh, and whatnot, but, oh, my mic is falling down. Okay, all right, my, my mic fell off my shirt. Up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, there's a lot of portent and, and, and oh my gosh, what's happening, big picture type stuff. Uh, and then it doesn't turn out to be that big of a deal. Am I right? You just summed it right up. I mean, I hate to say this, we came up, there was no oomph, you know, like we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. No Death Star moment, you know, at the end. A lot of stories just weren't explained. Because I talked to the folks when they came out and they said, you know, it just didn't gel together. And I called a friend of mine and she had seen it the day before and she said, Good idea, but you know, just didn't work the out. The execution just isn't yeah. there. Okay, how many reels? I feel really bad. Two and a half. Oh boy. I mean, e I mean, for you, that's like that's like yeah, like no stars from like. Uh, yeah. Remember Susan Stark? Yes. That'd be like no roses from Stu Susan Stark <laughs> for you to give something two and a half stars. Okay, let's just yeah. move along. It's like just take it back and re-edit or do something. All right, next up we have the new movie on Netflix that stars Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. Plus, it's directed by the Russo brothers. Yes. Who did some Marvel movies like, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, Avengers mm -hmm. Endgame and uh, Infinity War. What do we have here? This one's almost like, when I say like Mission Impossible, I don't want to compare them, but Ryan Gosling is almost like the Tom Cruise character. He's this lone wolf out there trying to uh, save the world. What it is was he was a CIA member, then wound up going to prison for something. They get him out, but they want to rec uh, get him back in. So he's like traveling the world They're trying to find- They're always dragging these ba guys back in. That's right, I think I'm out, you keep pulling me back in. And so he travels around the world. Chris Evans is on the force that's against him. Just the two of them with their snarky, smarty guy remarks would be enough to see the movie, but it does have a lot of action. All right, let's take a look at the clip. They have something they really want. What's your gut? It's gonna be my funeral you're going to next. You wanna make an omelet? You gotta kill some people. You must be Lloyd. What gave it away? The trash stash. It just, it leans Lloyd. Easy. If you wanna make an omelet, you have to kill people. I mean, come did on. He, did he really just say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, how many reels? <laughs> a four. I mean, it's on Netflix as well. And it'd be a nice, like, tonight, you want some action? And, yeah, you can turn the movie on. All right, I'm finally, a new <laughs> romantic <didn't> comedy <laughs> written and directed by Katie Holmes. You picked up on that. Yeah. She also <laughs> stars in the movie. It's called Alone Together. Yeah, it, it, this is a nice uh, love story type movie. Uh, it's all about this young lady and her boyfriend. They're having problems. And it's right at the beginning of COVID. So they wind up uh, getting an Airbnb, which is also now rented by somebody else. Now her boyfriend can't come, so she's gotta stay there with this other guy who's renting. And it's just how the relationship starts out is two people who don't know each other, then friendship, and then, you know, even moves on. Got to talk to Katie about it, here we go. Now I just have to start out, uh, it's almost like watching when I say a home movie because we were all going through, as you know, just the weirdest stuff two years ago. Now Katie, you wrote it, directed it, produced it, uh did i miss anything acted in it acted in it yeah there you go 
what, where did this idea come from for you? Um, well, I think that it was just the process of having time to be home to re, like for me, re-watching movies that I love, Annie Hall, Manhattan, When Harry Met Sally. Then I Zoomed with Jim, he had all of these ideas and it was like, oh, we wanted to, we wanted to create authentic characters and, and so that's where, that was a long answer. <laughs> no. But it was we could have driven life. from Toledo to Detroit with that answer. There you go. <laughs> That'll be the next movie. Jim, get ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in. I've never been to Detroit. I would love no? to. Never. Oh, my God. Detroit's never. amazing. Come on up. I'll give you a great tour of the city. A lot of times, good stuff does happen by mistake. He thinks he's got the whole house to himself. Next thing you know, boom, he doesn't. And sometimes that is how the greatest relationships start, isn't it? Just by happenstance. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's what was so great. They're both completely off guard. I had a conversation seriously with a woman for 15 minutes in a grocery store about cheese. I didn't know this woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what did you learn? What kind of cheese did you learn about is the important I learned thing. more about cheddar from her, and she learned more about Swiss from me, and also uh, New Zealand cheddar. So it was it was just weird. But, you know, you, you found yourself doing stuff like that. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What is it about New Zealand cheese that's different? It just has this different taste. New Zealand cheddar, as compared to um, a lot of the cheddars I've had from here. It's really good, and you've got to get it kind of like at a specialty store. But if you get a chance, yeah, get some New Zealand cheddar. Okay. It's I, well, because sometimes I see it, and I'm that. like, okay, so I'm going to do that. Thank you. You got it. And let me know what you think. Okay, so uh, how many reels for this? <laughs> I definitely three and a half. Really nice movie. Nice, you know, you want to see some, just something fun. There you go. All right, where can people see more of your movie reviews, interviews, swag, all that stuff? Go to movieshowplus.com. You can find all the interviews there. Plus, sign up for our newsletter, and that automatically puts you in line for, for many giveaways that we have. Movieshowplus.com. Mm -hmm. dot com. How did you come up with that? I came up with that a long time ago because I had the plus in in case we had a, a different type of story. Now everybody's doing the plus. I was first. <laughs> Greg was first. Plus, we used to call it going to the show. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Greg. Uh, 